In the video today, learn how to connect your Samsung Galaxy A54 to your TV. Welcome into the video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. Today I wanna to walk you through how to connect your Samsung Galaxy A54 to your TV so you can either mirror what's happening on your phone to the TV or you can play a video from your phone to the TV. Those are the two topics I'll be covering today. The first topic, which is how to mirror your entire screen to the TV, that's the first thing I'll be covering. So let me walk you through a few things you'll need first to make this work. So first of all, you're gonna need a Samsung Smart TV or a Roku. Those are the main two devices that this will work with the best. Now there are some other options out there, but the option I'm gonna show you today primarily is gonna work with Samsung Smart TVs or with a Roku or a Roku uh, enabled TV. So you'll need that. You will also need Wi-Fi for this to work. Okay, so let's get into the process. So make sure you turn on your TV. That is an important step. Uh, in order for the phone to mirror to your TV, it has to see your TV that is on. The next thing is I'm gonna swipe down from the top of the screen, swipe down again, and I'm gonna to swipe to the left and go to the Smart View icon. This is the function we'll be using to mirror the phone screen to the TV. Now right now you can see there are two Samsung monitors I have in my house. One is a Samsung TV, one is a Samsung computer monitor. Now, both of these monitors are connected to my Wi-Fi and that's why they show up in the list here. And you can also see there's a Roku TV that is also connected and I can basically pick any one of these three devices to mirror my entire screen to the TV. Okay, I'm gonna slide my phone over so you can see what's happening on the TV right here and I'm gonna select the Samsung M5 monitor and hit start now. And on the TV, a code is gonna pop up that I'll need to enter. You should see that on the screen. So I'm gonna enter that code and that's gonna allow the phone to link up with the TV. Okay, so after a few seconds, uh, it accepted the code and now my phone is mirrored to the TV. And now anything I do is gonna show up on the TV. So if I decide to go to this domino game here, guess what? It's gonna show my full gameplay on the TV. Now if the app supports uh, the landscape position, then it will rotate on the screen, but this app doesn't, so it didn't rotate. Um, if I were to go to uh, the internet, for example, Google Chrome, and I were to go to Amazon, Guess what? If I rotate the phone, it's going to rotate on the screen and allow me to take advantage of all that real estate. So that's just a quick snapshot of what it looks like to mirror your screen to the TV. Now this is the best option if you're trying to show um, maybe pictures from a trip or you're trying to teach someone how to do something on the phone. This is the best option for that. However, um, if you're just trying to show a video from YouTube or from Netflix, um, then there's a better way and that's what I want to show you next. So let's go to the upper right corner. This is the controller for the mirroring. So tap on the little icon here and you can simply tap disconnect to stop the phone from mirroring to the TV. So just that easy, it's no longer mirroring. Now again, if you're just trying to show uh, a video that's on your phone, you can simply open the app that you'd like to mirror from. In this case, I'm gonna open up YouTube. Okay, let's mirror this video here. Tap on the video. In the upper right corner, there's a little icon. This is your cast icon. Tapping on this will allow me to now mirror the phone to the TV. So give it a few seconds. It's gonna search for the, for the Samsung monitor again. And the cool thing about this setting is it will actually support more devices. So if you're just trying to send uh, a video from your phone, guess what? If you have a Fire Stick TV, if you have a Roku, if you have a Google Chromecast, it'll work with all those devices, not just the smart TV. Now one important note, make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on. So I'm gonna swipe down from the top of the screen, turn on my Wi-Fi and swipe up. Now you notice it tried to connect and it just said no devices found. If you give it a few seconds, in fact, let's just click away from it and let's go back 
tap the video, we're gonna hit that cast button again. You should now see a few devices show up. One device here is the DIN TV, this is my Chromecast. And I'm gonna tap on DIN TV, give it a few seconds, you'll see it begin to show on the TV. The video is gonna start playing over there. Now the best thing about using this second option is that um, you're not mirroring the entire screen, you're only mirroring this specific video. So, guess what? I'm gonna hit play. This video is gonna play on the TV. And now I'm gonna hit the home button and now I can do other things on the phone while it's mirroring that video. So if you just wanted to show a Netflix movie or a YouTube video, it'll play on the TV, it'll do what it's doing over there and your phone will be fully functional. If a call comes through, you can take that call. If you wanna have a text conversation, anything you wanna do on the phone, you're totally fine. Um, the TV is basically using your phone as the remote to send that video to the TV. So now, if you want to control that video, maybe pause it or make a change, you'll need to swipe down from the top of the screen and at the top of your notification bar, you'll see an option, which is this, this is the video that's playing and I can simply swipe down with two fingers and this will bring up my controller. I can pause the video. I can jump to another video. I can fast forward by moving this slider here, or I can simply just tap on the option, go back to the, the video here, and in the upper corner, I'm gonna tap on that same cast button, and I can just hit disconnect. And now it will stop mirroring the screen to the TV. So, this in a nutshell is how you mirror your screen to the TV. Now, um, this is probably one of the easiest ways to do it. Um, I wanna answer some questions that still might be lingering in your mind. Um, normally when people are trying to mirror their screen to the TV, um, they'll wanna just connect a cable. Can I just buy a cable and connect it from the phone to the TV? This phone does not support that. Only the higher end Samsung models will allow you to connect a direct cable from the phone to the TV. So unfortunately, you are limited in your options in mirroring your phone to the TV. Um, couple other things. There are other options you can um, use to mirror your phone to the TV. But this smart view option is usually right here. This is usually the best option to mirror your screen and it's the smoothest because it's built into the operating system. One other option for you to try in case you don't like this option here is you can use the Google Home app which usually comes installed on most Android phones. Looks like it may not be installed in this one initially. So all you're gonna do is go to the Play Store and just type in Home, H-O-M-E, and install the Google Home app. So this is another option, especially if you have a Chromecast. If you don't have a smart TV, but you have a Chromecast, this is your best bet. And with this app, it will allow you to easily mirror your screen to the TV or simply just play videos from your phone to the TV. Whether it be through Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, they'll all have that same cast icon. You normally just need to basically tap the video and start playing it on your phone. And then um, you'll see a cast button that you can use to basically play your phone on the TV. So. That's just an important um, note, FYI. So this is the Google Home app. I just wanna walk you through really quickly how it works and what you would need to do if you want to go this route in trying to mirror your screen to the TV. So right now I'm just going through all the settings and once you get through the settings, so it's gonna find the Chromecast. This is our main screen. They keep updating this app, so by the time you watch this video, they might have updated the app again, so just keep that in mind. Um, but um, it's gonna show all the different Chromecast devices that are, that are currently on this Wi-Fi network. So again, important note, you do need to have a Chromecast for this to work, and it does need to be um, on the same Wi-Fi network as your phone. If you don't have Wi-Fi, it's not gonna find the Chromecast, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so I'm gonna go to devices, and the Chromecast that is set up in my office at the time of this video is called DIN TV. I'm gonna tap on DIN TV, and then 
I have the option to select cast my screen. And if you tap cast my screen and you hit cast, it's going to play again whatever you're doing on the phone on the TV. So if you're trying to show your gameplay or you're trying to mirror your screen every move to the TV, you tap cast screen and that will allow you to mirror your phone to the TV. And the same will go for if you're just trying to play a video, you would open the video first and then go to the upper right corner, tap on that cast icon and you'll see DIN TV show up as an option and then it will allow you to mirror your phone to the TV. So th this, this second half of the video was specifically catered to someone who just has a Chromecast obviously and this is it. That's the whole video. So your options are Smart View, using a Roku. I didn't show a Roku in the video, but if you have a Roku, um, when you hit the Smart View option, if you tap on Roku, the one thing you'll need to know is your remote or your TV is going to ask you to approve this device. Make sure you have your Roku remote ready to basically go and say, hey, I approve this device that wants to mirror. And after that, it'll let you mirror the phone to the TV. So those are the main options that are available. Again, you can't connect the cable. It just is the way it is. Um, I will have links below in the description of where you can purchase a Chromecast if you'd like to use one with this device. And I'll have some links for Roku devices as well. There's also a little shopping cart you should see on the screen uh, right here. Tap on that shopping cart as well and you'll find some of those devices you can purchase if you still want to mirror your phone to the TV and you don't have a smart TV. Uh, Roku's are inexpensive. Chromecasts are inexpensive and they're the fastest way for you to mirror your phone to the TV. Hope the video was helpful. If it was, hit that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.